the community will be evaluated in terms of their own community or the Stanford pro program. The duration of surveys is expected to be three years and then will be re-evaluated. The reason is that it promotes fresh blood, more democratic and more fair. The committee member should serve for two years because we will give them time to be able to take initiative, follow up, perform them, evaluate them, and also be evaluated. For me, it's important. The minimum should be two years. Thank you. A committee member should be elected for at least one year because there, uh, whenever you come and join to new uh, community or program, uh, you need to take two, three months to go through and to get knowledge about that. So one year is a sufficient time that uh, someone can serve. And if he is not uh, interested and he is not uh, giving uh, good output, uh, then after one year, uh, members can be uh, re-elected. Thank you. I think that uh, probably one year is, is a good uh, term. Uh, saying that, still a nominate uh, can uh, re-nominate himself for the next period of time. And if he's voted for the successful and fruit, fruitness, uh, uh, fruitful uh, work that he has done, and other nominates uh, know him and, and vote for him again, then he can serve for another term. Maybe after two or three terms, he needs to take a term off. Um, I think that one year is enough time to uh, spend some time in participating in committees and, uh, and provide feedback and, and understand the system. Uh, but from the other hand, if someone thought that he would be helpful but understand that that's it and he doesn't have enough availability and so on, then um, um, one year is, uh, is a reasonable uh, period of time. Uh, maybe even six months, but then, uh, of course, uh, three or four terms uh, should be the the breaking uh, for a short vacation uh, kind of uh, number of uh, terms. A member of a regional team should be elected for three years. This gives enough time to him or her to show that he or she is a valuable contributor to the economy and to the community. These mandates can be renewed if the community is satisfied with the committee member's performance. A global committee member should be elected for a minimum period of five years. As a global role, this requires more time, strategic view, and higher overview of the whole project, so a longer time frame is necessary. For both global and regional committees, there is a chance to replace the current member if he or she doesn't meet the expectations according to the community. After a defined time frame, like three to six months as a minimum, if the community is not satisfied with the performance of the committee member, uh, with a defined number of claims, a replacement procedure can be started and the community can decide to carry on with or replace the current member. According to normal situation, I would agree with the two year stop uh, since the first phase, uh, first three to four months it would require the planning and about a year of execution and the four rest of the four months uh, or six months would require for the closing of the project uh, that, that they would initiate or that they would continue so and the committee member must serve to pass phase three because as committee members they not only to vote but also to complete their responsibility to grow up with pi network the members of the provisional committee shall serve from the time that they have taken their oath of office up to two years from the launch of the mainnet thereafter members of the committee shall have the fixed term of two years no member shall serve for more than two consecutive terms Two years is a period that will enable the community to immediately change an underperforming member 
and give a deserving member another term. How long must committee members serve and why? Central committee member for one year only. High committee members for one year also, but with eligibility to join the central committee the following year. There are many reasons and the most important of them are preventing the members of the committee from negatively affecting continuity of the BI currency if the wrong agenda and methods are followed that lead to the failure of the general strategy of the BI. Two, preventing the formation of an internal lobby. Three, preventing the personal interests of the members of high committee from being realized at the expense of the public interest. A committee member, in my opinion, should uh, serve for uh, at least uh, uh, between six months and one year period. And I, in my opinion, this is because it gives uh, every other member com of the pipe community an opportunity to also represent uh, and uh, also showcase the, the dynamics they have and the changes that they would want to bring aboard uh, towards uh, the development or the advancement of the pi network. So I think uh, by doing this, changing them uh, every six, uh, between six months and one year, uh, will uh, eventually give uh, equal opportunities to members of the Pi network. If this question is related to the tenure or the years uh, of the provisional committee members, then I think, this is my personal opinion, I think three years could be a good tenure uh, rational for saying three years, in my opinion, is because uh, the provisional committee member also have to understand and breeze to the PI core committee uh, or PI core team towards the, their uh, prevailing community. So understanding both sides of the, of the matter requires a good chunk of time. So one or two years could be too short to, to evaluate their contributions. So uh, also it is not good to provide more than three years. It will be a bit more longer time for them. So I think the three years could be a good chunk of time uh, to understand and to contribute to and to bridge the PI core team and, and the, the team members of the particular geographical community or the country. Thank you.